a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Slaven Bilic Slaven Bilic is a Croatian football manager and former professional player who played as a defender. Bilic began his career in 1988 with his hometown club Hajduk Split, later having successful spells with Karlsruhe RSC in Germany and West Ham United and Everton in England before retiring from active football in 2001. At the international level, Bilic served as one of Croatia's most consistent defenders during the tenure of coach Miroslav Blazovic, earning 44 caps between 1992 and 1999, and playing in UEFA Euro 1996 and the 1998 FIFA World Cup, helping the team to third place at the latter tournament. Following his playing retirement in 2001 at Hajduk Split, Bilic coached the team in the second half of the 2001-02 season. Between 2004 and 2006, he managed the Croatian under-21 team before taking over the senior national side. He led the team to the quarter-finals of the 2008 European Championship and left after the next edition four years later. He was praised for his long-standing service to the national side and credited with successfully overseeing the introduction of a series of young players, from the under-21 squad to the senior side. He left for the Russian club Lokomotiv Moscow in 2012 and then spent two years apiece managing Turkish club Besiktas and West Ham. Early life and Hajduk split Almost all Hajduk juniors went to the economics school, so Bilic wanted to go as well. There were no classical grammar schools in split, so he enrolled in information, journalism and documentary studies. All throughout high school, Bilic ended up with the highest grades, so he graduated with Matura. His favorite subjects were maths and history when he was choosing where to enroll in college. He already knew he would be a footballer. After graduating from high school, he completed his law school in Split, where his father was the dean. As a Hajduk player, he was on loan for half a year at NK Primorac from Stobrek, and for half a year in NK Shebenikand. For another year in Shebenik who fought for the first place spot in the second league. Bilic, as centre-half, scored seven goals and played for the national team. Peter Nadovaza called him up for three matches, in Skopje, Nice, and Mostar. He scored two goals, and was declared man of the match in all three matches. Bilic became the target of clubs such as Dinamo Zagreb, Red Star Belgrade, and FK Partizan who all wanted to acquire the young defender. He helped his club win the 1990-91 Yugoslav Cup before the dismantling of the Yugoslav League. During the first season of the newly founded Croatian First Football League, Hajduk won the league and Super Cup. One season later, they also secured the Croatian Cup. West Ham United In January 1996, Harry Redknapp, manager of English Premier League club West Ham United, brought him to the club for a fee of £1.3 million, setting the club's record for highest fee paid for an incoming player. He made his debut on 12 February 1996 in a 0-1 away win against London rivals Tottenham Hotspur. Billick's shot was saved by Tottenham goalkeeper Ian Walker only for West Ham's Danny, another debutant, to divert the ball into the Tottenham goal. Billick scored three goals in his time with West Ham, two in the Premier League, against Liverpool and Sunderland, and one in the League Cup against Barnet, heading in from a Stan Lazaridis corner, his first for the club. He played 13 games in the 1995-96 season, and 41 in the 1996-97 season, a season which also saw him voted a runner-up, to Julian Dix, for the Hammer of the Year award. In March 1997, Everton manager Joe Royal brokered a £4.5 million move, with Billich claiming he had a debt of loyalty to West Ham to stay with the club until the end of the season to ensure they were not relegated. West Ham finished in 14th place, two points above the relegation places. Everton Billich turned out for Everton in August 1997 after assuring himself of new manager Howard Kendall's full support. He initially brought some class to the Toffees' backline but his season was marred by bookings that saw him miss several games through suspension. After his exertions in the 1998 World Cup, Billet revealed a nagging groin strain that required rest and treatment, which he took back home in Croatia. After missing the first quarter of the season, Billet was left wondering if he would get back into the Everton side managed by Walter Smith. He did so and showed some good form, 
but could never fully establish himself due to injuries and suspensions. Everton released Bilic in July 1999. Just two days later, Bilic signed up, with his home club Hyduk split, where he briefly played until retiring. He led Hyduk as team captain, to their first trophy in five years winning the Croatian Cup. International Career Bilic made his international debut on 5 July 1992 in a friendly match against Australia in which they lost 1-0 at Olympic Park Stadium. Bilic went into the 1998 World Cup with Croatia, where the team were the surprise package of the tournament, falling in the semi-finals, to hosts France. Croatia finished in third place after winning the playoff game. Bilic was involved in controversy during the tournament, for the role he played in the dismissal of Laurent Blanc in the semi-final with France. With Croatia behind, a free kick was awarded which saw Bilic marking the French defender. He held Blanc and to free himself, Blanc pushed Bilic, making contact, with his chin and chest. Bilic fell to the ground clutching his forehead. Bilic later admitted that he was acting, and went down only after encouragement from teammate Igor Stimak. Blanc was sent off and missed the World Cup final through suspension. Bilic did not apologize, but did say, I swear if I could change that so, Blanc, could play in the final, I would. Early days As a shareholder in his hometown club, Hyduk split, he temporarily agreed to manage them until the club found a replacement manager, having admitted that the adrenaline inspired him. He reportedly received guidance after traveling Europe and visiting Arsene Wenger, and Marcello Lippi. Croatia. Bilic was appointed head coach of the senior national team on 25 July 2006, succeeding Zlatko Krančkar after the unsuccessful 2006 World Cup. His assistants included former teammates Alhoza Sanovic, Robert Prasinecki, Nikola Djikovic, and Mari Jonmeg. One of his first actions in charge of the squad was the promotion of three players from the U21 squad, Eduardo, Luka Modric, and Vedran Luka who would all eventually enjoy impressive success and make transfers to the Premier League. The team's first official game under Bilic was the 0-2 friendly win in Livorno against Italy, while Bilic's first competitive game was the 0-0 draw in Moscow against Russia in the opener for their Euro 2008 qualifying campaign. Many criticized this result due to Bilic's suspension of Dara Josna, Ivitz and Olek and Bosko Balaban who escaped from camp three days before the match and went to the nightclub Fontana in Zagreb. It is likely that no one would have found out, but there was a gunfight and a police intervention. Further in the Euro 2008 qualifiers, he led Croatia to a very successful campaign in a group consisting of England, Russia, Israel, Macedonia, Estonia, and Andorra. Bilic managed to lead Croatia to a first-place finish in Group E, most notably masterminding home and away victories against England, who consequently did not qualify and sacked their manager Steve McLaren. At the Euro 2008 tournament itself, where he was the youngest coach, Bilic and the rest of his squad had to participate with a handicap, as they were without their star striker Eduardo, who sustained a serious injury a few months earlier. Nonetheless, Bilic led his side to an outstanding achievement as they won all three group stage games of the competition, taking maximum points in the group for the first time in their history, which included an impressive 2-1 victory over eventual finalists Germany. Even his side's second string reserve side was seen to be too strong for their final group opponents Poland, who they beat 1-0 due to an Ivan Klasnik goal. Croatia soon became labelled as favourites for the tournament but suffered an exit in the quarter-finals against Turkey, and he admitted that the defeat would haunt him and his squad for the rest of their lives. Croatia opened UEFA for Euro 2012 with a 3-1 victory over the Republic of Ireland, with striker Mario Mandzukic scoring twice, and Mandzukic also scored an equaliser in the 1-1 draw against Italy. After a 1-0 defeat to Spain, Croatia exited the tournament in the group stage. However, the team subsequently garnered widespread domestic praise for their performance, and were greeted by a large crowd upon their return. Upon his formal departure, Bilic was also praised for his long-standing service to the national side. Domestic media outlet Jutanji List labeled him as Croatia's only manager to depart on such positive terms and credited him for his strong revival of the national side during his six-year tenure. Locomotive Moscow 
On 14 May 2012, it was confirmed that Bilic had signed a coaching contract with the Russian club Lokomotiv Moscow. Upon the confirmation of signing, Lokomotiv chairman Olga Smoridskaya stated that Lokomotiv had tough competition in signing Bilic, as he was targeted by many clubs around Europe who wanted to sign him as their new manager. Bilic took over the team after the Euro 2012 tournament had finished. His assistants included former teammates and former assistants. During his tenure as manager in national team Alhoza Asanovic and Nikola Djukovic. Upon his arrival he made his first big signing for the team, signing his ex-Croatian international player Vedran Luka from Tottenham Hotspur for a fee of £5.5 million. His first official match as the new locomotive manager came on 20 July 2012 in a away match against Mordovia Saransk, ending in 3-2 win for locomotive. Bilic's first season as a manager ended with the Lokomotiv's worst league result, ninth place, since the establishment of Russian Championship in 1992. Bilic accepted responsibility for Lokomotiv's failure and was sacked on 18 June 2013. Besiktas After leaving Lokomotiv, Bilic entered talks to take over as Besiktas manager. The deal was confirmed on 26 June 2013 after an agreement to a three-year contract worth €4.8 million. Euros. Bilic signed the contract on 28 June 2013. On of September 2013, Bilic was sent off from the bench by referee Frat Adnes during the Istanbul derby against Galatasaray after Bilic had complained about the amount of time added by the referee. Besiktas president Fikret Orman announced on 21 May 2015 that Bilic would leave the club at the end of the 2014-15 season. West Ham United Bilic was appointed manager of English Premier League club West Ham United on 9 June 2015 on a three-year contract. In his first Premier League game on 9 August, his team beat Arsenal 2-0 at the Emirates Stadium. Three weeks later, he became the first manager to lead West Ham to victory against Liverpool at Anfield since 1963. On 19 September, Bilic led West Ham to a third successive away win 1-2 against Manchester City. It was the first time the Hammers had won three successive Premier League away games since September 2007, and only three other sides had recorded away wins at Arsenal, Liverpool and Manchester City in the same Premier League season. In Bilic's first season as manager, West Ham finished seventh in the Premier League. The team broke several records for the club in the Premier League era, including the highest number of points with 62, the highest number of goals in a season with 65. A positive goal difference for the first time in the Premier League with plus 14, the least number of games lost in a season with 8, and the lowest number of away defeats with 5. Following Manchester United's win in the 2016 FA Cup final, West Ham took their UEFA Europa League place and qualified for the third qualifying round of the 2016-17 UEFA Europa League. For the second season in a row they were eliminated in the qualifying rounds by Romanian side, FC Astra Giorgiu. In his second season in charge West Ham finished 11th in the Premier League in a challenging debut season. At the London Stadium following the acrimonious departure of star player, Dimitri Payet, after a run of poor results in the Premier League, Culminating in a 4-1 home loss to Liverpool on 4 November 2017, Bilic was sacked. The announcement, made two days after the game, stated that West Ham United can confirm that Slave and Bilic has today left his position with the club. West Ham United believe a change is now necessary in order for the club to move forward positively and in line with their ambition. He left the team with a record of 1.33 points per Premier League game which is the best of any previous West Ham manager. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?